At first, I was a blank piece of paper. I was nothing more than one of those innocent little girls who was obsessed with everything girly, from Barbies to mermaids to fairies and most of all princesses. But as I grew older, my paper has since then been filled with influences and experiences that have slowly formed my worldview. From a very young age, my parents have taken me to attend church on a regular basis. They've also enrolled me in multiple church groups for kids and youth. By attending these sessions, my parents have introduced me to a religion, which then became the one I now call my own. I can still remember the first time walking into a Christian program and seeing my friends there and how they pulled me aside and shared with me their beliefs. I can also recall my dad reading me the Bible as my bedtime story every evening explaining the intricate pictures to me. My mom would sing beautiful worship songs as my lullaby, and the both of them holding my small hands in theirs would be saying prayers, a religious act. Starting in grade five, my parents enrolled me in a Christian school where you attend chapel every Friday and learn about the gospel. You can see how growing up in a Christian family can greatly impact your choice of religion. Since then, I've followed my family's religion and have began to call it my own. My view of religion and beliefs then fills up part of my empty page. And as my page begins to fill, another story of mine is then written. Living a good life is also important to me, and friends are a way to achieve that. During our school trip to Oregon, I've gotten to share some laughs and fun quality time with my peers who have become some of my closest friends. Some of my best memories would be ziplining through the trees while the wind blew hard against our faces and telling fun ghost stories around the fire. Ziplining was so much fun and you can hear the birds around you as you zip through the trees. Even though there was always work to be done, my friends and I always found some way to enjoy our time together. In the past, I have played sports such as soccer and hung out with some of my older friends. Countless times, my friends and I would share a laugh or high five on the soccer field or compliment each other's skills. We'd run wild in the woods building forts with logs and rocks while the birds sang around us. And on sunny days, we'd play on the beach and hunt for the prettiest shells and rocks. And while I may get stressed out about school, I always have a friend there to help me. All of these experiences have led me to realize that while life may be unfair and tough, it should be enjoyed and having friends is a way to achieve that. The society I live in today has also had an influence on my worldview, especially my teachers, both past and present. I struggled through my early years of elementary school, up until grade 6. I then realized that what I lacked was support from my teachers. Very few of my elementary teachers cared or taught the class well. It wasn't until grade 6 where my teachers really helped and took one-on-one -on -one time with me to explain the assignment. A drastic change in my grades began as my marks got higher, mostly on teacher support and encouragement. My attitude towards school improved as well. I can still remember my excitement on the day I saw my report card. This also made me want to try harder, which raised my marks only higher still. Encouragement has since helped me through the years and has inspired me to encourage others. These are only a few of the stories that have since then filled my blank piece of paper, but I can promise you now that my paper is now filled with many stories from past experiences, good and bad.